When I read the gospel this morning, one of the thoughts that came to me was St. Matthew was a rascal. He was eavesdropping on Jesus' prayers. And indeed he was because he left us this beautiful testimony of how Jesus prays and what is the substance of his prayer. Yesterday in the gospel, Jesus was rejected by his own people in two different towns. His own people didn't believe in him and didn't want him. And so Jesus has to deal with this as the person who also shares the flesh of humanity. He has emotions. And so Jesus decides to go in to pray. I'm going to go pray. I'm going to work this out in prayer. Not bad advice, is it? As we should all understand. Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father. He doesn't complain. What he does is he praises God. Jesus exclaimed, I praise you. I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. Jesus' inner life is being revealed and exposed now because of the gift of St. Matthew. Jesus has revealed himself as not only the Son of God, but he's identifying himself as a child of the Father. A child of the Father. He is a child in the same way that we are children of God. Jesus goes on in his prayer. You have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, but revealed them to the childlike. Jesus is referring himself to the fact that the Father shares things with him because of his childlike desire to absorb everything that keeps him in communion with the Father. And this is, what, this is how in his humanity he comes to a human realization of what it's like to know and love and serve God the Father. Jesus, Son of God, a child of the Father, Jesus revealing himself as a child who is, here it is, totally dependent on his father. We like to be independent, but Jesus wants to be interdependent with his heavenly father. He wants to submit to the father, and he says it. Father, and the father and I are one. And he says, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. He does nothing without reference to the Father. This is a vision of what a child of God should be looking for when we gaze into heaven, the care of our heavenly Father. We often think about Jesus a lot of times we think about the Holy Spirit, but somehow we seem to be unacquainted with the beauty of the fatherhood of God for us and how he cares for us and desires to cherish us and love us as his own dear children. And so Jesus would say, let the children come to me and do not hinder them. In other words, let the children of the world, let the children of the baptized follow me in how I follow the Father. When rejection and difficulty come, this child, Jesus, allows himself to be totally dependent on his Father because they are one. 
with the Holy Trinity in the power of the Holy Spirit. Matthew is disclosing this intimacy that's actually available to all God's children. And it's how we experience it in prayer, in the sacramental life. The Father gives us his Son at the altar in sacrifice. And he allows the Son, with his permission, to come inside of us. In baptism, we are children of God and sons and daughters of the Father as Jesus is a child of God as well. No one knows the Son except the Father. So I go to him who, is, who knows me best because he is my Father. No one knows the Father except the Son. And this is a, maybe a good prayer to get us acquainted with coming to understand more about the fatherhood of God, perhaps asking Jesus to reveal more of the beauty of who the Father is in my life. Ask Jesus to reveal this to you. A number of years ago, a spiritual director of mine said to me, Mo, you don't know the Father. I, I didn't understand that, but I started praying about it. And one of the things that came through the prayer was somehow through grace, I started to understand the difference between the voice of the Father who speaks to me and the voice of the evil one who tries to deceive me and the voice of the world that tries to ensnare me. Now, I'm not always good at listening to my Heavenly Father. I can at least admit that. But I try to, try to work hard at it. And knowing the Father more because I asked has become very valuable to my spiritual life. And so Jesus, through this passage, is inviting us to become childlike just as he has been and always will be. And so that we may be partakers of the gift of the Father in the Holy Trinity. Regina Jenny, letare, alleluia, qui aque menuis ti portare, alleluia, resurrexit sicut dixit, alleluia, ora pro nobis deum, alleluia.